All right, I'm going to show you how to damp the Force Pro. And the reason you might want to do this is, I'll show you here, I'm just recording the Force Pro. If I run it over something kind of rough, like the little ridge that I have in my desk, you, you, you can excite vibrations of the Force Pro, basically just by tapping on the Force Pro itself. And so sometimes that can be a little bit annoying if you zoom, zoom in on this. Uh, it's actually sort of interesting. You see actual vibrations here that you can analyze with our FFT tool. And you see the force probe likes to oscillate, not oscillate, actually mechanical vibration at around 150 hertz. But sometimes it can be a little distracting to see that. So there's a simple way to get rid of this. You open up your device. I've already taken the four screws out. There's no reason you should not open your device up as much as you want. It's a fun thing to do. The screws go into brass bushings, so you can open it up as many times as you want. The force probe is here on the bottom. The way this thing works is that it's, a, it's basically a, a spring that holds some magnets, and those magnets hover over a Hall Effect probe, and moving them changes the voltage. Um, so to damp this thing, all you want to do is stick a little piece of foam in it. There's a piece of foam right there. Okay. And I just shoved it in there, and what I used is just what I had laying around my office. It was just some earplugs that I found, and I just cut those in half, shoved a half an earplug in there, and it made everything much less prone to vibration. Now, when I put this thing back together, and I now roll this thing on my desk, or bump it up and down, I see much less vibration than I did before.